Hello there, YouTube. We're back with another episode of Rogue Legacy 2. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am not only enjoying it, but playing it. Um, We are still on the second save file. You might be curious, Jay, why do you have eight hours in save file one? Uh, because save file one is our Twitch save file. Hey, look, the avatar is very similar. Um, yeah, Twi Twitch save file is slot one. Us here on YouTube is slot number two. Uh, so we are going to continue here and see what character we have, what heir to the throne we have started this run with. Because to be honest, I haven't played in a bit. Um, okay, right. It's this guy. It's the Ronin. So certain distance does crit. If you teleport through an enemy, it damages the enemy. Uh, this character seems really cool. Uh, we have the Goku Super Saiyan. You gotta be pretty dang precise. He does jump attack, but he does have the thing where when you attack, you can't really move. So it's not as mobile as uh, some of the other characters. But we're gonna see how this goes. This is our first run with the Ronin, I believe. We don't have enough money to really do anything else, so we put a little extra spare change in the, the safe there. Which I don't know what the max is in the safe. I know you can raise the max, but... Alright, feels good to be back. Like I said, it has been a couple days. Been a, been a pretty uh, eventful weekend. We had some friends in town staying over and a friend's wedding to go to. And my girlfriend's birthday was on Friday. And then today is Sunday, which is Mother's Day, which we are going out to eat in a little bit. So uh, pretty eventful weekend. Didn't really have too much time to play any Rogue Legacy, but it feels good to be back. Feels really good to be back. So it's interesting. You can jump and move and hit, but when you're on the ground, when you hit, you can't move. So it's probably advantageous to, to, to honestly jump as much as you, you kind of can. Okay, we're getting a couple pieces of chicken here with max HP. If we only had that one relic... Where it raises your max HP if you eat while at max HP. Uh, speaking of relics, we have Nod Bone eating health drops. That was I just talked about that. I literally just spoke. I spoke about the Nod Bone and it's right here. That was really weird. We're gonna take it because I think it's really good. I think it's really good. Unfortunately, we didn't pop in here first, then go into the other room and be able to eat some chicken at full HP, but. Um, this is, this is, this changes your weapon. This, I, I feel like I've had this. I think I had it on stream and it was not very good at all. Plus, we are still very new, new with the Ronin here. And the Duelist, uh, or not the Duelist, the Ronin class. I probably have called it the Duelist and I do apologize. Uh, the Ronin class is, there's the max HP. Rodent class is still new to us, so we don't want to put a, a new weapon on top of a, a new class here because we want to kind of experience this class for what it is. Kind of see how we feel about it because we've never played it before. That's a lot of flames. Wow. Wow. This is kind of crazy. This is kind of nuts, man. More max HP. Let's go. Okay. Couple crits. Couple crits. All right. I mean, even when he doesn't crit, he hits for like 98. I mean, that's pretty dang good, man. That is pretty dang good. I get all the furniture here. Get as much money as we can with the plus 35% to our to our gold. I don't know if there's is there any point in going into the actually yeah. I don't think there's any point in going into that secret room on the left side other than doing it once, but I could be wrong. I guess maybe it's beneficial to go into it every time, but I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
bop him on his head a couple of times with a couple heel kicks. Let's get ourselves in position here. Nice. More chicken. Okay, so I think we actually hit our max there. Because the relic is good for uh, three times, I think. Honestly, it would be way too powerful of a relic if there was no cap on it. You could pretty much get your max HP insanely high, especially here early on in the uh, first area. Try to work this guy over. Okay, okay. I got to get better at, at lining up the, the far shot. You, you got to be further away than you think. Just the tip of the sword. I kind of forgot we had the void dash because spoilers on our um, stream save file. We do not have the void dash. We do not. Uh, we have a relic, an epic relic that costs 44 resolve, which to be honest, every unique relic increases your damage by 6%. I don't know how much more relics we're going to take, especially if we, if we do 44. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, that's going to get us under 100, and then every unique relic after that, that would be great if we had, like, still, like, 200 um, resolve or something. But we don't, and we won't. That was very risky, but you had to do it. We did it successfully, so that's really all you can ask for. Do we have the magnet on? We do have the magnet on. I don't think we're going to be able to suck that other coin. Handcuff myself there for a second. Oh, wait. Do we have the super jump? All spells and talents have a cooldown. No. Um, I keep forgetting to use my... My talent. We don't have a super jump. I think we have a super jump on the, the Ronin on our uh, Twitch... Twitch save file. Which, by the way, I have been streaming this game, so if you're interested in watching more of it, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash wolves at my door. There we go. There we go. That was really dumb and not good and bad. Also dumb and not good and bad. This is greedy. It worked out for us. A little bit greedy. Didn't work out for us. Took some pretty da bad damage there. A couple crits. Love to see that. Another crit. Starting to get the, the distance needed down. This is... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Teleported right into it. Nice. I'm gonna say we gotta use our spell more often. I think that was a pretty good spot to do it. Oh wow, didn't even see the spear maiden coming. Did not even see it. Oh, you can actually attack up. It's like up in a di diagonal. Okay. Oh, this is, okay. So actually this is the area we're supposed to be in. So this is, I, I know I keep referencing when I was streaming it, because that's, honestly, I streamed it for like five hours the other day. Uh, but, and we're around the same kind of area. It's like, it's a, it's a, it's weird. Because it's like, yeah, you know that's like the area you're supposed to be in. And you know you're capable of doing that area. But that area is really hard. And you could run into a lot of the times where your runs are really short. Because that fourth area is connected to the first area. And the problem with runs being short is you're not garnering as much coinage as you probably should be on a run-to-run -run basis to kind of get your your skill tree up and, and everything else that comes along with having money. You know, advancing yourself in the game as a whole. So, yeah, it's a bit of a push and pull, right? It's like you kind of want to access... You want to access the different areas of the game uh, that you that are more optional, I guess, because we've already done the second area and the third area. And the fact that you have to access the fourth area 
from the first area makes it so you actually don't need to come here, but it's nice to come here to get extra coins and just even chances at better relics and uh, honestly, just gaining experience for your, your class, right? The more, the more enemies you kill in a run, the more experience you end up getting at the end of the run to level up your guy, your class. The diagonal hits really good, man. I mean, just, dude, I said it before, but even his normal hit. His normal hit doling out 90-something uh, damage is pretty crazy. Destroy all targets, no jumping. We can try it. Oh, yeah, I think I know how to do this. I jumped the second I... The second I said, I think I know how to do this, I literally jumped and failed instantly. What the hell is wrong with me, man? I was so paying attention to like, okay, we can heal kick off of these. And then I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that I was literally going to use a jump to, to heal kick. Speaking of jump, that was a pretty, pretty bad jump there. Not our best challenge, that's for sure. <laughs> Not our best. Oh, that was close. Okay. Hokey dokey. I'm going to try this. That actually worked out. Love to see it. Especially like this area. Like I know every area has its fair share of uh, chests and stuff. But I think this area has a lot of chests. Like, cause most of them are just, and like every section is like a platforming based puzzle and most of them have a chest at the end. I'm gonna do this where we take damage and get more max HP. Um, just cause I feel pretty confident in this area. Uh, especially, I mean, especially going back to the first area, which I think we're going to have to do, uh, to get to the other area, maybe fight a little bit in the first area. And I don't want to say that health has been easy to come by, but we've definitely been running into our fair share of chickens, which is fantastic. All right. I think there's always a secret room here. At least it seems that way. Let's get up here. Okay, that was a little cheese. That was a little cheese. Slow and steady wins the race there. Okay, okay. Had to dip dip under that blue fire. Wow, the archer. The archer will get you. The archer will get you. That guy will get you. I love that I said I'm pretty confident uh, in my abilities in this area, and I've taken like four hits since then. It's not worth getting that coin. Oh, the coin came to us anyway. Love to see the 128. Almost left that chicken. I saw one of the episodes. I must have left the chicken. You guys were very upset about it. I do apologize. <laughs> I do apologize. It does happen. Your eyes sometimes uh, not on the prize. the goods get all the goods all right we got pizza Monday again I don't know if pizza Monday even gives you anything in here I feel like I've never seen anything drop in here but I come in here and break the furniture anyway 
I think it's considered a lore room, so it actually doesn't give you any uh, loot, any barrel loot. Okay, we got a champion. Oh, these ones track so hard. That's not good. That's like impossible to dodge in this little area. Is it ever gonna go away? Maybe I have to kill those. All right, we need some chicken, some pizza, because we have not been doing so well without taking damage. We've been taking a decent amount of damage. Bunk bed? Bunk bed holds no chicken. There we go. Lined up a crit there. So close to our range. I don't know what I just did there. I could easily have turned that off. I don't know what I, I over, I overthink that so hard. I don't know what I was even trying to do there. All right, we're at like less than half HP now. It's a bit of, bit of time for a little bit of concern here. Let's just turn this off just so we can get these pieces of furniture without having to worry about it. Yep. Yep. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Jeez Louise. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. Should I have used the teleport? Probably, considering I've like not used the teleport once. And it seems like really important. Oh, so close to the crit. There it is. There it is. Oh, we got some HP there. Oh, it's probably just the life steal. Thought we I thought we picked up a piece of food and I didn't realize. <clears throat> you deal 150 Okay, that just disappears. Your weapon applies combo. Keep standing, keep fighting. I I don't think combo would really do much for this class. This class is a kind of a like a one hit and uh kind of get out of there situation. Trigger those. Okay. Wait for the shot. Really was hoping there was food in there. Ooh, a little risky there. I mean, not not so difficult to fight a champion out in the open. When you're in like kind of the confined spaces, that's when it gets a bit dicey. When they have some shots that come through the walls and then some shots that don't, you just don't really know where to be on the lookout. That bag of money looked bigger than the normal bags of money. Am I crazy? What is this? Just just like a room? Oh, I see. There's a secret room up there, but it's... I think it's only accessible for the dwarfism. I see that small secret room. I mean, I guess we could try it. 
me. We opened it, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in there. Oh, we can. Oh, geez louise. Amplification rune. Bend space and time to make things burn a little longer. Increase the duration of status effects. That's actually not a bad rune at all, especially if you have somebody like the chef who applies burn. It's pretty much a must get rune for, for being the chef. <clears throat> Let's zoom our way past here. Um, we could go to the frost area, the cold area, but this is, I don't want to say this is kind of pressing our luck. We're, we're just kind of hoping for some HP here. We could use the teleporter and go back to the first area, then access the fourth area, which is where we need to be. But it's just, um, <gasps> you kind of want some HP, right? You really just want some HP. That was really unfortunate. Sometimes when you go down, like the joystick is so temperamental and you're facing the wrong way. You're pretty screwed. Not so bad with the diagonal attacks there. Same here. It is a champion. I am a little scared of it. I'm, yeah. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not deal with that. <clears throat> we got, is that new lore? That is new lore. Matters in red. We've already killed her. So I don't know what that's all about. Speaking of uh, the chef, we do have the frying pan here, which we could bail on our sword, which honestly might not be a bad thing, but we do so much damage. Um, let's see what we got here. 48 resolve. I don't even know what this does. I'm going to take it because you know what? Defeat five enemies to load the dice and instantly defeat the next enemy. That's interesting because we have two of them. So I wonder what that what that's going to do. Ooh, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this snowflake. Freeze formidable foes. Applies his freeze and destroys his large projectiles. Maybe I have seen that. Is it weird that I feel like that would help better than our Goku Blast? I feel like frozen enemies would be good for this character. That was insanely close to getting hit there. Big crit. Was that the, the five enemy crit on top of our normal crit? he jump up here? I know he's got the hops, but does he have that much hops? Jeez. I mean, it's close. That's really unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. The wolf, the wolf not only has hops, but hopped over my dang sword. Scared me. That noise scared me. I thought it was a zombie noise. All right, this is not good. Um, we're kind of like one or two hits away from death here. Whoa! Almost hit that snowflake. Oh god! No jumping. I mean, we'll be able to do this no problem. We just gotta wait for our ability to come back. <clears throat>
sip of some water. I, oh no, 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 no. We're gonna be able to do it. I just tried. I tried to cut the corner there, and that was a mistake, I guess. But yeah, with this ability, these no jumping puzzles actually are really easy. There we go. What do we get? The red rune, lifespan manifest, gain more red aether. Okay, so we have, I think, per I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's this safe or the, the other one. It's really hard to keep up with uh, the two separately. But one of them we have the um, same thing, but you gain more ore instead of the gain more red aether. Which I've been calling blood. I was scared. I was scared of the zombies potentially uh, popping up out of nowhere. And wow, one popped up there as well. It's not good. I mean, we are, I mean, I don't want to, you know, look at the silver lining here and kind of count ourselves out here because we're not dead yet, but we do have 9,000 gold, which is not bad. It's not bad. Oh, jeez. Nice crit. Nice crit. Speaking of ore, there's some ore for us. Needed that crit. Shields, shields, shields take a lot of concentration. They be bouncing around like crazy. Really need a chicken. Would really love an HP up. I don't know if there's really any good way to... I don't know. I don't know how we dodged that, but we did. I don't know how we dodged it, but we did. All right, where do we have to go? Where can we go? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I see. Over this way. Good crit, good crit. I don't know if I want to deal with that. I mean, this is a really, really rough room to deal with. Oh, I hit the big snowflake. No. I thought I had some slick dodging to get out of that right corner there, but that was a really rough room to go in when you're two hits away from death. Again, we didn't get any progress story-wise. I did avoid the fourth area in account for leveling up our Ronin and getting them to rank number three, which is pretty good. And then also in exchange for 10,608 gold. I assure you in the next episode when we play as potentially the gunslinger, I don't know what OCD or endomorph does. I do love the assassin, but we haven't played as the gunslinger in a while and it has prismatic spectrum, which I like a lot. And we have a rank four gunslinger here, so pretty good. I could play as the mage, but we did kind of a gold run there with Sir Tommy the second. Let's take Lady Katie the gunslinger and i assure you in the next episode after we do all these upgrades and stuff and i send you guys off in the next episode uh we will access the fourth area and i will try my best at unlocking something seeing the boss you know hanging those pictures up by the door whatever we could do to try to advance it a little bit but 
Uh, increases strength weapon damage. I think we got to just kind of do kind of do these. They're, it's not sexy necessarily, these upgrades, but they are very important. That is for sure. They are very important. Um, we can unlock the Dragon Lancers. I did that on my Twitch save. It's a pretty cool character. I do like the class. It's pretty cool. We have, what, 2,200? We can increase the intelligence spell and talent damage. Let's see if we... Um, how we're doing on metal. Okay, we have a lot of a lot of Beskar here. So on the next run, you have my word, we'll save money to unlock some stuff from the blacksmith because we could probably unlock two things from the blacksmith, which would be nice. And then we'll probably be able to unlock some of this stuff too because we have 2,800 blood or red aether, whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Honestly, I think on my Twitch save file, I'm struggling with Beskar and Blood, which is uh, Ore and Red Aether. I think I'm struggling with both of those, so I'm usually not used to saving money from the skill tree, but yeah, definitely in the next episode, we'll try to access the new area and then unlock some stuff from the Blacksmith and the Enchantress. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out, watching the episode, and liking the video, and all that stuff, commenting. I appreciate all the support on the series so far. Again, I said in the beginning of the episode, I'm glad to see and hear you guys enjoying this game as much as I am enjoying it and playing it. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next episode, stay safe, stay up, and peace out.